a personal Cartier. best. Cartier, can I tell you, you've won a bronze medal. <laughs> There's tears all around here for all of us. <sighs> that's nice. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> a PB and a, and a medal. <laughs> you know, five years later on doing the same thing again. It's just, it's awesome. <laughs> What a moment that was for Australian swimming. The men's 100 metre butterfly S10 final. Cole Pierce, your first Paralympic Games, your first Paralympic final, and you are now a Paralympic bronze medalist. It's been hard. I'm sorry. Oh, my boys are going to rip into me for this. <laughs> It's been a hard 18 months in Victoria. Yeah. It just, it just means the world to me to finally get on the podium 18 months ago. I didn't think this was possible. And so for that to come true. Tell us what you've had to go through to get to this point today. Starting again. So at the age of, age of 14, I moved away from home from mum and dad to, to make the Australian Paralympic team. And then last year, obviously the past 18 months, it's just lockdown after lockdown. It's, I haven't had the same training as maybe some other people here have had. So it's... Sorry, it's, it's just... It's just been really hard. I know, it has been incredibly hard. We have loved hearing about your story. One of the things we have loved, Cole, is that your dam on your property turned into an aquatic centre. Tell us about your mum's idea of that. Uh, yeah, so last year when quarantine first hit and we all went into lockdown, mum was sort of making a joke about the dairy dam turning into the Pierce Aquatic Centre. And really, once we all went into lockdown, it wasn't really much of a joke anymore. We hopped in, we, we got some hay string milk bottles, some wood crates, and we turned it into a pool. So, and like I said, looking back 18 months, training in a dairy dam, I wouldn't, I would never thought I'd be here, so. Well, maybe that's the, that secret ingredient. I did want to ask you a question about growing up on a farm. What strengths do you think growing up on, on the property has really helped you to win that bronze tonight? I think it's just no, far, no matter how far down you are, you are always always got to push through. You can always make a comeback. You know, Going through a drought, you've still got to milk the cows. Going through a hard 18 months, you've still got to train. So I think it's a lot of resilience, a lot of hard work. And I think old country boys are tough. So, yeah. Well, you have done it for Australia tonight. I know your family are watching right now and your schoolmates. You're still in year 12. Have you got a shout out to them? <laughs> yeah, I probably, I didn't bring my list for people to thank, but thanks to my family. They're probably all watching on the TV right now, so. I can't keep them in right now because this is a very special moment, Rachel Watson. Congratulations, you've just become a dual Paralympic gold medalist. What words have you got for that moment? I didn't think I was going to do that. I didn't even I didn't even believe it was possible. It's been a really, really long five years and to come back after a pandemic and to do that, it's just, I, I can't even find the words right now. I didn't even know I won when I touched the board. I thought, it, I, I didn't even think it was going to happen. You told me this morning after the heat that if you played your cards right, that maybe this could happen. I think you've surprised yourself as well. Yeah. Um, I've just got to, I just, I, I, you know, my, my family were going to be here and, and, and all my friends and they couldn't come because of the pandemic. So, they, you know, they were going to be in the crowd and they're, they're here watching from home and, and everyone here is supporting me. And I, I just can't thank Australia and the world enough for embracing her sport and embracing me as a person with a disability and believing in me um, just to every single person that supported me I just can't thank them enough. We know Rachel that you've studied early childhood education and for your story being born four months premature and I know we know you've had incredible health challenges along your journey. 
for the people watching right now across Australia, for parents, for kids, what's your message? Um, just, just never give up. You know, you, you're going to have a lot of people that will tell you that you can't do it because you've got a disability. They're going to tell you it's too hard. They're going to tell you to just stop believing it and just try something else. But honestly, if you put your heart into it and you just try and try and try, you can achieve whatever you want in your life. What an amazing message you have done, Australia. Incredibly proud tonight. You are now a Paralympic gold medalist for the second time. Enjoy this moment. And we'll speak to you after you get that second medal. Thank you.